Okay, we're back at Epic, and today we have a 392 that a customer just purchased that uh, our wonderful bearded Ginger is going to be lifting. So let's go check out what he's doing over there. Ginger. What's up, buddy? How's it going? So, new wheels. For a 392. For the 392. Those are nice wheels. Nice bronze. Yeah, bronze to kind of go with some of the bronze accents and the decals and the stitching inside and everything. Nice. It's 392 still. Have you driven it? What do you think? Um, it's loud. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely hear the Hemi power, that's for sure. Yeah. yeah. I don't know why you're driving around with the secondary pipes closed, though, because it's so much fun with the main pipes open. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that button just, I think, should just stay on. <laughs> or, not, or not exist. Yeah, yeah. The 392 comes with this quad-tipped exhaust, but it's not really a true quad-tipped exhaust. When you uh, engage the little burp motor in there, it closes a valve up here, and then you don't get as much loud hemi noises. Super interesting design though. That valve just closes when you hit the button, and all of a sudden, it's quieter. Open the valve, and it's nice and loud. Straight pipe, the whole damn thing. Yeah, okay. Get rid of all the performance Is that really a good idea? We were talking about cutting the cats out of it earlier, so yeah, that's probably the better idea. That's just less to feed. Cut the cats out, rid of the litter box. No more treats. Don't have to worry about the hair anymore on the inside. Seems legitimate to me. Mm -hmm. Of course, I am a dog person. This is the first one you're lifting, right? This is the first one we're lifting here. That's exciting. It's it's not bad. It's a pretty good day so far. Temperatures down, noises are up. It's all good. So this customer came in wanting the 392 from factory and convinced him to get it lifted by Epic with new rims, tires, drop brackets, the whole nine yards. So it's just going to be a pretty sweet build uh, when it's done. Just trimming some fenders off now? Just trimming some stuff to fit the Falcon shocks. Make it look factory. These are the uh, new sway bar links? Those are the new sway bar links that look very much like a factory sway bar. They're, they're long, they're way longer. They are longer. Old sway bar links? Okay. New sway bar links. A box within a spring, within a box? Yes. Within a bag? Horsepower weighs, mo weighs and costs money. I have a lot of horsepower, as you can see. <laughs> springs are in now, the new Terraflex springs? Yes. And uh, what, we're about halfway there? Uh, we're like halfway down the front. <laughs> Maybe a little more than half. Perfect. The rear's quite quick. We're just buttoning up some things. The sway bar links. Mr. Brassington is off the phone. He can find me my shocks. Hey, man. I'm just way too busy and no place to put it all. <laughs> can never get tired of seeing that. Just big, big epic letters on the side of a box. Yeah, I know. A beautiful thing. So uh, whereabouts are we at now? So we're just finalizing putting on the shocks. We have went through and tightened everything down, reconnect a few more things, and we're gonna lift it up. We're gonna go through and paint mark everything, make sure all the wiring is good and has enough slack. And we're gonna clean up the mess on the floor, throw the front tires on, and move to the back. I'm ready for retirement in Florida. Bought a straw fedora. Just need a pair of khaki shorts. And a way to kill them gators. Uh, well, I did just get an Under Armour golf shirt, so I'm just, I'm so ready for retirement. <laughs> so this Red Willy is another gladiator that we just gave to Epic recently. It's got the black grill in the front, which always looks nice. It's a Willy's. And they did put the fuel uh, traction wheels on there, which, in silver, which look awesome, if I do say so myself. So if you want a Willy's, Epic lifted, this one's available. This guy is also going to be getting leather installed on the seats and the door panels, which should be really interesting because we haven't done door panels yet, but they should look really, really good. And that means that if they do look good, you will be able to get them as well. 392. Yeah. Just doing the rear now? Down to the rear.
That's all she wrote. Oh, it looks so good, doesn't it? It looks a lot better. A lot better than it did stock. Pretty much all she wrote. This 392 is lifted and ready to go. Ready to be delivered tomorrow to Avenue. The, uh, the Ram GT definitely sounds better. Just saying. <laughs> Fighting words. I don't know, because this is a bigger engine. It should be a deeper sound, and it hasn't broken in yet. It's only got, well, sorry, it's got 5,500 kilometers on it. There she is, oh, finito. What an absolute beast. Looks amazing. They do amazing work, as usual. Stay tuned for the next one. See you next time. Bye.